Hello, what's happening, people? I thought I would do um, a little update. You might, or you may or may not have seen the video where we collected this guy, Gizmo the Marmoset Monkey. Um, if you didn't, basically a quick rundown um, is there's a guy who was looking to rehome him. Um, it was his girlfriend's monkey or something and she left it with him um, and he just wanted to get rid of him ASAP. Um, so we got him with the intention of uh, rehoming him to like a proper sanctuary or um, seeing if we could maybe like build something or create something for him on his own. But um, after having him for about six weeks, um, we quickly realized that monkeys, um, well we knew, that, knew this kind of before getting him, um, obviously with the plan in trying to rehome him, um, but we learned that monkeys don't make very good pets unless you're keeping them in like proper um you know outdoor indoor enclosures with all the right stuff so i thought i'd do this little nine reasons why marmosets are awful pets um it'll be nine nine or ten reasons so um the first one is obviously for there to be monkeys um for you to buy that are actually good pets you can see he's pretty tame he's just kind of chilling on um the computer desk oh don't, know, don't go you're supposed to chill here for the video um but yeah for there to be like tame monkeys like this in the first place um they're obviously going to have to be hand reared or some amount of human interaction um in the first place so that means that they're going to be taken from their mums when they're tiny um and that's not great for monkeys what have you seen don't go you're supposed to stay here for the whole video otherwise it's not going to make any sense because you're a mama set and this is what we're talking about. Um, yeah, so obviously that's distressing for them um, and the mum uh, and all that jazz. Um, secondly, they're quite, they're cheaper than I thought they'd be to feed, um, but their diet is pretty, um, you know, it's just like a specialist diet. You need to make sure they're getting everything they need. And especially mama sets, they need UV, so like sunlight. Um, oh, he's off. Where is he? What are you doing? Wait. Um, so they need sunlight and vitamin D3 just to make sure that they don't get funky bones. Um, ow, 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 don't bite my, see that, so he's, bite, he's biting my um, trousers. Ow, stop doing that. Um, yeah, so they got like a specialist diet um, that you need to keep on top of, so fruits and veg and nuts and vitamins and minerals. Wait, do you mind? Can you stop biting? Let's see, he's trying to, ow, 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 stop. Um, stop, stop, stop biting my, wait, can you stop? Um, yeah, so they got a specialist diet. So I know I've said that about three times um, that you obviously need to keep on top of and you need to do that the whole time that they're with you. Oh, look, he's found the phone now. Uh, number three is they can be quite aggressive. Um, so he is generally speaking uh, quite good. However, do you mind? Um, however, he's taken a dislike into my dad and a few other people. Um, and he does attack them if he has the chance to. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And apparently it just gets worse as they get older. Where are you going? Um, as they get older, it just gets worse. So he's about two now. Apparently three is, and he's off. I wonder if we'll be able to continue with this or if he's gonna skedaddle again. Um, but yeah, so apparently they get more aggressive as they get older. Stop chewing holes in my chair. Um, which is obviously less than ideal if you had them in your home and obviously around different people especially like young kids and stuff like that um so not ideal um the next point i don't know what um what i'm on but they do smell a bit in the sense that uh if you, you definitely recognize it if you've been to the zoo it's like a musky um like if you've ever been to like a bat enclosure but not as bad as bats but it's got that same kind of vibe about it. Um, but you definitely recognise it if you've been to a zoo that's got marmosets um, or monkeys, and you can you can smell that little sort of like musky 
um, scent marking that they do. Um, uh, so obviously they're like we everywhere and mark their territory and that sort of stuff. And you've probably seen in this video so far that you like choose stuff to investigate, i.e. everything in your house. Um, chairs, as you can see he's bitten a chunk. Oh, there. Um, my trousers, he's obviously chewed a bit. Um, yeah, just everything really uh, that he can get hold of. Um, and just going on the um, the aggression side of things, obviously they have like a hierarchy in their group. So, so he is naturally trying to um, kind of assert his dominance or um, find his place in the pack, which obviously comes with aggression and fighting it out because he's a savage as you can see um so that's the next point i've lost track of numbers now because i'm trying to keep track of him while we're going around the room he's on top of the fish tank now because he likes the warmth on top of the light bulbs another thing with them which um isn't such a major concern but obviously being a monkey they can carry diseases that they can pass on to you like crazy stuff like herpes and that kind of jazz um but he's been tested by the vet for zoonotics because obviously he's going to a zoo so they needed that test done um you can see he's flattening out to get the heat off the thing um so they needed that test done before obviously they could put him in the zoo um because he's going to be around people or like on display um so people can see him uh so he's not got that but generally speaking if you get a monkey and you don't know where it's come from you could have some crazy diseases that he'll give to you, and um, that is obviously less than ideal. And all of the hardship that comes with having a monkey, like the specialised diet and the space and everything else that they need, um, they do need to be with other monkeys. So you need to double up on that, so you need double the space, um, double the food, etc, etc, to manage them. So... Um, keeping on their own, I think, is a bit cruel, which is obviously part of the reason why he's going to a zoo, and he's going to be in a bachelor's group, apparently. Um, so he's going to be with a bunch of boys, and they're all going to be chilling, and he's going this Saturday, which is very exciting. So, that's that. We got him from, it's sort of like a rescue mission, so as I say, we got him with the plan of trying to find a zoo or sanctuary or somewhere that would take him. Um, he's going to the Monkey Haven in the Isle of Wight, um, if you guys ever want to swing by and pay him a visit. Um, so that's where he's going. Um, wait, where was I going with that point? He's going to a zoo. We know that, I've said that a whole bunch. Oh, that's it. So basically, yeah, so he's a, he's like a rescue um, because obviously we didn't particularly want a monkey as such. Um, but buying monkeys just because you want to have a cool monkey and getting them from a breeder is obviously encouraging that breeder to keep breeding monkeys, um, which is less than ideal because, I mean, in my opinion, they shouldn't be legal to buy, especially after having them for about six weeks. I knew it was difficult and not a good idea, but that's just kind of super highlighted it's like so difficult to um give them everything that they need and they're very clever um but yeah in terms of like the diet the diet and stuff is, is manageable it's doable it's hard work um trying to make sure you get all the fruits and nuts and veg and vitamins and minerals etc etc um but just making sure that he's got enough space to to do what he needs to do and and the smell and all that kind of jazz so and he likes looking at himself in the mirror or any reflections that you can see, um, i.e. the TV that's turned off. Um, so yeah, and also, um, I this is kind of like a going against myself here, but it's probably not a good idea to get them to try and rescue them to, to get them into sanctuaries because that was a lot more difficult than I'd first anticipated as well. Um, apparently they get offered about 40 monkeys or 40 marmosets a year, so that doesn't include all the other animals they get offered. They said they get a whole bunch of uh, meerkats and that sort of stuff, but they do have space for him. Um, and to go with that, they need me to do a whole bunch of tests, like the zoonotic tests, I need to get him castrated, a whole health check. Um, so it's quite expensive to take him to the vets on top of obviously the price that I paid for him to get him from the guy um, that was trying to get rid of him. Um, so yeah, 
Um, so they said they can't always take them. Um, and there's a massive waiting list for more kind of famous um, or well-known monkey places like um, the Monkey World in Dorset. And there's like a crazy waiting list of like 140 monkeys to get in there. So it's quite fortunate they actually had the space. So um, probably a mistake that I made on my part, but it's all worked out. So I would not recommend a monkey if you're thinking about it. Um, I think that kind of, oh, I think that kind of summarizes it. But he's lovely. It's been fun for the six weeks. But he's going with, um, he's going to this bachelor's group. And I'll probably make a video documenting that whole day of him going. Um, so we can, you know, keep that. And they said they'll keep me updated with how he's getting on, which is pretty cool. And we go to, we've been to Monkey Home before to visit, so we'll probably swing by and see how he's getting on uh, at some point in time. So yeah, very exciting stuff. But those are the nine, 10 something reasons why you shouldn't get a marmoset or any kind of monkey in general, really. Um, but yeah, I mean, I wonder, I would like to just buy a bunch of land and build proper enclosures so I can take them in, but. I'm very excited for you to go to the zoo. You know this, my friend. Um, but yeah, I've got a bunch of other animals. If you enjoyed this video, you want to stay up to date with him going to the zoo, then make sure you like, subscribe, all that jazz. And yeah, I'll catch you guys some other time. Bye. He's fallen asleep. Oh my desk aren't you you sleepy boy you sleepy boy hmm? you crazy there like that you got a you want me to get that scratch for you i can't move your hand let me get this scratch